Hello and welcome to Fusion Fundamentals with me, MJ. Today we're going to be doing a bit of a practice exercise uh, using the loft command as well as the circular pattern tool. So to do this, we're going to be drawing a, or designing rather a cactus. So it's a San Pedro cactus. I believe it's used in medicine or something. Uh, so we're just going to import an image, uh, set it as a canvas, trace it, and then go from there. So let's get started. I'm going to click on insert and we'll go to canvas. Now this is what I'm going to be inserting from my computer. So insert from computer and it's this one over here. I'll just select the top face and okay. Now I'm going to orient us to the top and we'll go into canvas on the left over here. So this is where your image is, where you control your canvas. I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to select calibrate. This will allow us to set the size of the canvas. So once I've clicked calibrate, I'll select two points on the drawing and decide how big I want them. So I'm going to make this 100 millimeters. And there our canvas is going to be set to 100 millimeters from the two points that I selected. So that's how you calibrate a canvas. Now I'm wanting to do a sketch on top here and just trace one of these little uh, fingers or whatever you call them. And then we're going to use a pattern tool to get uh, roughly what this looks like. So to do that, I'm going to go create on the top plane and I'm going to use my spline tool. And I'm going to click twice and then at the top, and then I will do a mirror tool. So I'm just going to draw a line L for line tool X. We'll change the line type to construction. And I'll draw that down to the origin over there. Then I'll go into create or rather you can click up there or you can go into create and select mirror. Now the line we're mirroring is this one and the mirror line is our construction line. So you can see we've now got that line on both sides. Next, we're going to go create and circular pattern. This will allow us to get that pattern right the way around. So we select our two objects. The center point will be our origin. And you can see there it's given us three. We're going to change it to seven. So it's going to look pretty similar to that. Not exact because obviously ours is perfectly symmetric because it's computer generated. And OK. So you see I've got all these overlapping lines. So I can go to trim or just push T, shortcut key, and just trim these away so we don't have any of these excesses. You don't have to do that. It won't affect your extrude. It's just something I like to do. So once we've done all of that, we are going to close this drawing, finish sketch, Okay, so now we've got our sketch. I can turn my canvas off. This is going to be the base of the cactus. Now for a loft, we're going to be going between two, uh, two sketches. So I'm going to have the same sketch, just a little bit raised up. So I'll go construct, offset plane, offset from this plane that we've just done, and make it 250 millimeters. Now we can draw a sketch on this plane. So I'm going to go create sketch on this plane. And we don't have to go to the effort of drawing everything again. You can just push P for project. And I'll project these lines onto this new sketch. And then we'll have the exact same drawing on both. So finish sketch. We've got one more sketch to do for our cactus. Uh, it's probably the most simple sketch you can do. You'll see in a second. I'm going to construct a new plane for that again. So construct, offset plane, again from our top plane. So the last one was 250. We'll make this 350. And create sketch on that plane. And this we're just going to put a point. So create and point. We just need a center point on the origin so that we can loft to that. Now I'm going to perform two loft operations. 
we'll go create loft select our first sketch and then our second sketch we can see we've got that profile if i have to select this sketch as well it's going to give me a shape that i'm not super excited about um, so i'm going to actually do that in a separate uh, loft you see it's arcing that across there so i'm going to leave that one now i'm going to do another loft so i'll go create loft and loft between this top surface and that point now this loft is going to be quite sharp so what i'm going to do here is change from sharp to point tangent then it's going to be rounded okay um, now we're going to do the pot and then i'll show you in a second or once we've done the pot how we can change this if we're not happy with that angle so this angle over here that curve has to do with the distance between the point and the profile that we lofted it from so let's just go to our front plane doesn't really matter which plane back or front or side i'm going to create a sketch and we're going to be doing a pot so we're going to use the revolve tool for the pot i'm going to just use our line tool come up there and then in line with the origin and we need a closed profile for this so i'm going to then offset go in we'll make that minus 15. okay now if i select the line tool l for line tool i can join them but i'd actually prefer to have this horizontal and then t for trim we'll trim that off and then this one we can just join them like that so that's going to be our first revolve our second revolve will be the soil inside so in order to have multiple colors without the fuss of adding it to surfaces we'll just have a separate body for the soil finish sketch so now we can revolve we'll select the revolve axis as this Z axis and I'm going to change that to new body okay now we'll go and turn our sketch back on now we'll do another revolve again we will select new body axis also Z axis new body okay so there's our cactus and the pot we can turn off the sketches at this point I was considering adding all the spikes in but then the video would just get a bit long and I really just wanted to show you the revolve and loft commands and what you can do with them. So now we can press A for appearance and it'll bring up our appearance library. I quite like using this ABS white plastic. It's got a nice finish regardless of what color it is. So I'm just gonna drop white on the pot and we can right click on this and duplicate. And I'm gonna have three different colors. So I just duplicate it again and then you right click and edit then you can change the color to whatever it is you want so i'm looking for a green for our cactus a sort of dark green so done and then we're going to have a brownie color for the soil so obviously you can adjust your slider there and then select exactly what you want okay that looks quite dark so let's drop that on there that's almost uh, black that brown so i'll edit it again just move that up there see it's a more light brown and then we can drop the green on the cactus so there's our cactus um, but i wanted to show you this top section over here so if i had to change my plane say i made this quite a bit higher we're going to see a change in the shape at the top there now this is a longer cactus but if i move that first plane up sufficiently high we'll again get that sort of rounded top almost like a like a bullet or just just this soft round top as opposed to a point anyway that is our video for today did a bit of lofting and some revolves and circular pattern.
Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like and subscribe. Leave a comment down in the comment section. Until next time, bye.